Hello students, this lecture is about software product lines. Software products line have been developed for large scale software engineering. So they are not anything you would do in your typical student projects, but they are something that you would be faced when moving on to the industry. Software product lines are like product lines in manufacturing, so they try to utilize the same ideas. Basically, it's a set of products that together address a particular market segment or fulfill a particular mission. The products are built from common assets in a prescribed way. Kind of like this uh, figure where cars are assembled uh, from a common asset to build specialized vehicles. Software product lines also allow customization. Why product lines? Well, basically, they try to combine the best of the two paradigms of software development. We can see two paradigms of software development. The one being software product, or one size fits all, which is that you have millions of users for the same product or service. Uh, examples of this could be Microsoft Word, Google Docs, uh, Google Search Engine, and so on. So there are millions of users, but the product is the same for all of them. Then another typical case of software development is tailor-made bespoke software, where basically the software is built to match a particular customer's needs. For example, a big company might order a system from a consulting company. For example, the National Railroad Company in Finland has ordered their ticket purchasing system and it is custom made for them to sell tickets on the trains. The benefit of this tailor-made approach is that all individual concerns can be taken uh, uh, care of and then the software is only used exclusively by, by this one company. So product line basically try to combine the best of both worlds. They try to have this sort of tailor-made approach where individual concerns can be taken care of, but they also try to service uh, not necessarily millions, but, uh, but thousands of, of different uh, customers at the same time. More reasons for software product lines would be that you can have more different products. As previously stated, you can address the customer specific needs, but you can also do market differentiation. You can have high end and low end products. You can address differences between target devices. For example, if the target device has uh, different amounts of memory, this might affect what software features are uh, available in the software that is delivered to this particular target device. You might have legal or environmental regulations, for example, different emission regulations in the cars uh, might determine what uh, software features are available in the engine that control the emissions, uh, emissions and also control the power. Uh, you also have business benefits. You can develop and support more products. You can have big productivity gains. Uh, you can have improved product quality and finally faster time to market. 